Hello everyone, thank you for watching another episode here at Investing with All I See is Debbie. So I'm here with my doggy, giving him a little walk and just out here doing some early meditations out by the park. Just wanted to make another video on this Friday. Hello, Kobe. To share with you my insights on several tickers that I feel can definitely add value to your investment portfolio. Now, I've shared several videos on these tickers already, but I wanted to reemphasize the importance of why I feel these certain tickers that I'll be sharing with you can add value to your investment portfolio. And let's get started. Now, ticker number one I wanted to share with you is Inovio Pharmaceuticals, and that's by the ticker INO. Now, we had just recently heard by this week that there were clinical studies done on the INO 4800 on animals. And what's showing as positive results are the data. And that is positive news that will likely support the peer review news that will be coming out as well as more news from South Korea as well. And I believe that there will be more information coming on the partial clinical hold, hopefully by next week or the following week, uh, week three of October, where we will likely hear an uplift. But in terms of share price still, I feel like this can definitely add value to your investment portfolio. Currently the share price is hovering at the low $12. Can you imagine what your gains would be if it goes up to the mid 30s that's like a two-fold increase from what you originally put in so that's just my takeaway and i feel like it can definitely add value to your investment portfolio i'm a big time holder of Inovio pharmaceuticals and i'm going to continue just riding it and just holding long term until possibly q2 of 2021 and that's my forecasting. Now, next up I wanted to uh, pivot to is iBio Incorporation. That's by the ticker IBIO. Now, most of you have been inquiring about videos on iBio in terms of where we are at with the progress of the company with its iBio 200 and the iBio 201 vaccine. Well, just to share with you some insights, I do forecast that there will be some information on the investigational new drug submission on those two applications for the two drugs that will be submitted to the Food and Drug Administration or it has already been so, but we're just waiting to hear back whether the FDA grants access to phase one clinical trials. And from that point on, I feel like the share price will definitely skyrocket. What we see now currently, the share price establishing ground at $2, it can definitely hover up to like the mid $3, up to the $4 potentially. And the fact that we know this is the only company out there that is leveraging plant-based technology to make its product using collagen, then I feel like this can be a potential breakthrough for science for looking into the future. I mean, you look at different companies out there, right? Like meat patties, plant-based meat patties, where now the company is working with like Burger King and McDonald's. Look at what's happening with the share price there. Well, if we pivot over to healthcare, I mean, leveraging plant-based for necessities, then I'm sure that the share price will likely shoot up even more if you were talking about leveraging plants for their necessities versus wants, because I mean, foods would just be wants, right? You can eat anything you want, but in terms of necessities, health, I mean, there's only a handful of things that you, uh, really can leverage based on needs and that's iBio and why do I like iBio so much I feel like once the company passes through the clinical trials hurdle implementation will be very easy because this company can scale up so fast right I mean all it takes is just planting things and making sure you can uh, harvest and then distribute that a manufacturer and what's unique about the company is it's uh, scaling up flexibility with being able to work with other companies to partner up. For example, let's say if a, another company needs to get support for sterility manufacturing, then iBio can support with that as well. So not just with scaling up with this fast farm technology, but there's other ways for the company to optimize operations from various different reasons. Now that's iBio and I firmly believe that the ticker can definitely hover up to the double digit share price range and I am not making any transactional moves until I see the company share price mature up to 30 to $50 share price range. Okay, and that's iBio. Next up I wanted to pivot to is Organable by the ticker ONVO. I'm also a shareholder of this company since 2013 and I still am a firm believer of the company because I feel like with just clinical trials, the fact that you have to 
test on human livers that's just a waste and you can potentially cause uh, safety concerns so that's why i feel with what the company is working on at this time it can definitely disrupt the way that we do clinical trials and it's possible that we can begin leveraging artificial livers as opposed to using real life livers to test for toxicity on drugs we don't even know poses uh, any safe the profiles so that's my takeaway with organable and currently the share price is hovering at the eight dollars i feel like it can go up to the 15 dollars share price range a little bit above what the current price was post the stock split and i i'm just parking my money here because i know arc investments is also supporting this company as well as Inovial pharmaceuticals and that's why i'm just banking on future innovation of this company now, next up I wanted to pivot next towards is the last ticker I wanted to share with you, is, and that is Afria by the ticker APHA. Now, this is a company that is in the green sector, and why do I like this company so much? Well, I've been invested in this company when the share price was at the $6 share price range and just at the $4 share price range. And just knowing that the current share price is getting up to like the $5.50, getting close up to the $6, I feel like the bull run is coming and that the company's share price will likely hover up beyond the double digit share price range, similar to when it was previously hovering up to that share price back in like 2008. So to me, I feel like this is a value investment a company and just with all the external news coming out with potentially decriminalizing all the the incidents that occurred with respect to the green market that just tells me that there's hope and that there's an increased demand for for this product and the fact that we know afria is scaling up its operations to export out of canada for example getting more products shipped into germany europe into latin america as well as the united states i feel like this is only just going to increase the demand and exposure to the global countries. And that's why I feel Afria will likely be a double digit share price company uh, soon to come. So those are the four tickers I wanted to share with you, specifically in the biotech sector. And I feel like these companies can definitely add value to your investment portfolio. But first, anytime when you make an investment decision, please do your own investment research. Anytime when you make an investment in a company, a bond, a mutual fund, or an ETF, please do your own research. So I hope that this video added value to your investment strategy. And if you haven't done so, please hit the like and subscribe for more related content. I'd love to make similar videos and please continue to support my channel, Investing with All I See is W, and let's gain moving forward to come. All right, thanks all. Have a great day.